Hi there, Cindy Ferentz from Sunset Gourmet. I'm senior team leader and independent consultant. I'm back to show you how to make our garlic herb salmon. This is one of our fr uh, freezer meal workshops. So I hope you're enjoying what I've been uh, showing you so far. And um, I think you'll find that it'll save you a lot of meal prep time um, the, more you, the more you do this. So what we're gonna do is that this is our garlic herb salmon. So I've got six salmon fillets, or fillets. And uh, what you can do is I'm going to do them in six individual bags so that if I only want to pull out one at a time I can do that. If you want to you can do them in the bigger bag and then just pull them out for one one full meal. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is a half a cup of water. The featured products that we're going to use this time there's five products. I've got our Oso garlic, our lemon dill seasoning, our Oso onion, our smoky chipotle honey mustard and our passion fruit white balsamic vinaigrette. So to the water, I'm going to add a tablespoon of also garlic. So each cap is, holds about two tablespoons of seasoning. So I'm actually gonna go with, um, I took a little bit too much here. Go with about half a cap of the also garlic. I'm gonna add about two teaspoons of lemony dill. So I'm going to go with about a quarter of a capful there. It doesn't have to be exact. This is what um, is going to marinate your um, your salmon. And the Oso onion, I'm going to use a tablespoon, so that's about a capful. Okay, and then the other thing I'm going to add is uh, four teaspoons of our smoky chipotle honey mustard. And then I'm going to add a half a cup of our passion fruit white balsamic vinegar. And a tablespoon of honey. Now one of the things you can do to get the honey out of your um, dish or your uh, measuring spoon a little bit easier is dip it in some oil or run some oil around in it and then it'll just help when it comes time to taking it out. It'll come out a little bit easier. I'm just going to give the marinade a stir. This is looking yummy. I did use a little bit of warm water just to help the honey mustards blend in with everything a little bit easier. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I've got the, um, the salmon fillet sitting in a bowl just to make it a little bit more stable. So then when I pull the, pour the marinade over top, it's the bag's not going to roll over on me. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit more to this. Okay, just make sure it's, you've got enough to cover it. I'm just going to get the, um, get the air out of the bag as much as possible. And I've got the first bag done. I'm just going to lay that over here. And you want to just swoosh the ingredients around so that it coats the, um, coats the salmon. What I've done to, to save a little bit of time and handling of the meats and the fish is I've had the, um, the salmon put directly into Ziploc bags. Just makes it easier and then they're all ready to go in the, in the freezer for freezing. to this. Same thing with that. Make sure you get as much of the air out as you can. Seal it up and then just swoosh it around in the bag so that the whole piece of salmon is coated. I'm swooshing it. Okay, get as much of the air out. Okay. 
Add the last of the juice here. Okay, so this is the final bag. If you're doing it in the bigger Ziploc bag, and it's a lot easier, you just put the six fillets in there and then just swoosh everything around. So there you have it, that's our garlic herb salmon. So next on the list, stay tuned for the next video, which is our honey mustard chicken thighs. Thanks for joining us.